All right, when you think of the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, you probably think of the top-notch medical care that those young patients receive there. For sure, but the hospital has much more to offer, including an education, as we'll see in tonight's school patrol. A very unique classroom. Teacher Leslie Thompson is making her way through the hall to her student. I'm headed to have a school session with one of my patients, um, Felicia. But this is not the hallway of a local elementary school. Hello, Miss Felicia. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> are we ready for some school? Felicia McEwen. We decided we were going to start with language arts, right? Okay. The personable 11 year old <laughs> is a student of Monroe Carroll Jr.'s Children's Hospital School Program. So, you want to read that first sentence for us? Sentence three it contains an error. We've been here six weeks working together four days a week. Wait, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. We get to know each other pretty well. Why is there not? Wait, oh wait, there is. <laughs> Alicia has been a patient in residence here since the beginning of the year. I miss my friend. She's waiting on a heart transplant. Oh, yeah. Felicia, who for the most part is confined to her room because of her illness, it's a dinosaur plus an A. <laughs> represents a number of students who spend the majority, if not all, of their time here at Children's Hospital. You build like a motor that you put in. Students like 10 year old Lane Caldwell. I like being creative. Who wants to be an Army engineer when he grows up. And I think being an engineer would be like a creative kind of job to have. Lane? The fun thing about being here is you can learn different things every single day. Seven-year-old Isla Johnston and ninth grader Ginger Rada are also being treated for potentially life-threatening illnesses. I don't know if I fully have adapted. Ginger was diagnosed with aplastic anemia three weeks ago. Of course, that concerns her and her family, but she's also worried about falling behind in her classroom at her high school. I was a straight A student, so like I'm just concerned about passing this year and being able to like not totally fail. Tisha Clay is one of her teachers here. It's always a concern, especially for teenagers, but some of our younger kids too. They know they're missing school and that brings up that concern of like, I have all this work to catch up on. Before the guest arrives. Meanwhile, back in Felicia's room, are they addressed? Very good. Her mom says, although her daughter has adjusted well, oh, did you hit submit? It's still not easy for any of them. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da. It's hard for a mom, especially for me, because I know it's it's gonna be um, takes time, healing, especially. Felicia is aware of why she's here. Um, my heart. It needs to be fixed, so I'm waiting for a new heart. However, the wait's not that bad. I don't have to change clothes a lot. <laughs> in pajamas. I get to stay in my pajamas every day. Everybody just has, they're, they're so dedicated to those children. And just to hear laughter? Just to hear, yeah, because you don't hear a lot of laughter. It's so. important. But there you do.